There's a new kind of COVID vaccine coming soon known as the COVID bivalent vaccine, which is a new type of booster shot. These new FDA authorized vaccines are updated versions that target both the original strain of COVID, SARS-CoV-2, as well as the Omicron subvariants BA4 and BA5. Two main reasons why these new shots are needed. One is because of our immune system, and two is because of these new variants that keep emerging, that keep evolving. So as the virus has evolved, it's been better at escaping our immune system, especially our antibodies that were previously generated from previous vaccines and or past infections. So the intent is to provide better protection against the new variants that are still going around. Who should get these shots and when are they gonna be available? Well, the first thing is we should define what the bivalent vaccine is. So this bivalent vaccine it sends a message to our cells in the form of messenger RNA, mRNA. This tells our cells to make antibodies against the spike protein of the two strains of the virus that causes COVID. That's going to be the SARS-CoV-2, the original strain, as well as these new BA4 and BA5 subvariants of Omicron. BA4 and BA5 are the dominant variants in the United States, causing about 90,000 new infections every day. This vaccine is essentially the same as the previous mRNA vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna, except that the genetic code of the mRNA has been slightly tweaked. The Pfizer vaccine is authorized for people as young as 12, Pfizer's also reworking its vaccines for children 5 to 11, and they're going to ask for FDA authorization for those updated boosters coming in early October. Now, they're also working with the FDA to update the vaccines for children aged 6 months to 4 years. Moderna's bivalent booster is authorized for people age 18 and older. Where and when millions of these vaccines are about to be shipped across the country, including pharmacies. This is going to be the last time that COVID vaccines are free of charge. They'll officially get the green light once the CDC signs off on it. So the CDC is going to look at who should get the shots and when people should get them. And this is probably going to happen next week. Also, it's looking more and more like getting this bivalent vaccine along with the flu shot at the same time will be safe and effective and practical. These are the first COVID vaccines that will be authorized for use in people after being tested only in mice which is essentially the same process that happens every year with the yearly flu shot. So the FDA, they allowed Pfizer and Moderna to submit data from animal tests in order to speed these shots to the public. Now studies in people are underway and that data will become available within the next one to two months. So on one hand, we have these new vaccines that are essentially the same as the previous one with that minor tweak in the genetic code of the mRNA, but technically these are not studies that have been done in humans. But that's what you do when you get the annual flu shot. So it really depends on your comfort level unless you wait until that data becomes available. But another aspect of this is the evidence that comes from bivalent vaccines that may soon be given in Europe. So a few months back, Pfizer and Moderna presented an independent panel of experts who advised the FDA with data on these bivalent vaccines that were designed to target the original strain of Omicron, BA1. So the evidence showed that the vaccine boosted antibody responses and were safe. The UK has authorized these vaccines, but they will not be available in the US. Why? Because BA1 is gone. Now there's also some evidence suggesting that these BA4 and BA5 strains generate a stronger immune response than BA1, which is another consideration when making these boosters available to the public. Now at this point, it's hard to know just how effective these bivalent vaccine boosters are going to be. In a recent preprint study, scientists did a meta-analysis and concluded that people got the biggest benefits from getting boosted. A booster against the original SARS-CoV-2 strain caused an 11-fold increase in neutralizing antibodies. It was estimated that would increase a person's protection against symptomatic infection over the next six months from 50% to 86%. Now, variant-specific boosters worked slightly better, but the difference was pretty small, about a 5% increase. A recent review of adverse events and people who received the mRNA booster found that side effects were less common after the booster doses compared with getting the second dose of the original vaccine, and most were mild. About one in eight adults reported a headache, fever, or pain after a booster. Now in children and in teens, the most commonly reported side effects were pain at the site of injection, as well as fatigue, headache, and muscle aches. Now very rarely, these mRNA vaccines can cause myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart, but that is actually less common compared to the COVID virus itself causing myocarditis. The highest rates of myocarditis in adults who received the mRNA vaccine occurred in young men. For adolescent males, the rate was 11 cases of myocarditis for every 1 million doses. Now, as for me personally, I received three shots in total, plus I had infection back at the end of May, early June. Presumably, it was BA4, BA5, 
And I do plan on getting this bivalent vaccine once it becomes available, as I feel very confident that it'll be safe and at least somewhat effective. But I'm curious, do you plan on getting the new bivalent vaccine as soon as it becomes available, likely next week? Or do you wanna wait until there's actually human studies done, maybe in the next one to two months, and then you'll get it? Let me know in the comments below.